all right guys so you welcome back to my channel this is digital my escape if you are watching right now i did a couple of videos about this Tascam, and i really like this equipment so much when it comes to podcasting i it's like hands down for now i like the build quality everything about this machine is almost perfect even though as much as i like this mixer a couple of things i believe we need to be upgrade probably if there's gonna be another version like mark 2 or miscast 5 or whatever they want to call it if there's gonna be some kind of firmware update they can easily roll part of it in and part of this there's no way they can roll it in with update it have to be or it have to be it's about physical button the first thing i'm going to talk about will be this button right here right now they are kind of not useless it's just their kind of indication but i would like them to be functioning i would like Tascam if they're coming out with mark 2 or if they're going to be an upgrade to this machine i would like this to be clickable to be functioning that when you click on this immediately it can take you to the screen and it's going to bypass all other things but take you directly to settings of channel strip number one and if i press the usb or the phone or the bluetooth or if i actually go on the pad it should easily take me to their settings and bypass the home screen and you know things like that and this cannot be fixed with firmware update except if Tascam want to take it to another level it can easily just take this and bring it here to be you know touchable right if they are going to do firmware update on this but if they are coming out with new one i would like this to still be there but functioning that's number one the second thing i would like to see that they change will be that um the pad right here I hate for the fact that the pad you can only use you know one bank at a time probably you may need more than that and you may not need more than that but at least they should give their user the opportunity to use at least two or three banks at a time that would be nice if they can allow that to be you know to be easily you know accessible for firmware update and apart from that if Tascam is coming out for you know if they're going to bring out another machine like the mark 2 i would like that this thing should have like an inbuilt you know that you can store some kind of memory that you can store your jingles whatever you have that they will be accessible without the sd card i think i would really like that i will appreciate that a lot you know for anything at all because the moment you format your sd card you format your jingle so i would love that they bring that in in their coming you know updated version the third thing that i would like to see will be that this talk back button right the talk back button only work with channel 234 in my own experience if you are if you have a guest then you won't be able to talk to your guest offline right so i would like that when you press the talk back button your guest should be able to you know be affected if i should put it like that should be to hear you when you use the talk back i would like that to be rolling probably with a firmware update this is just something i noticed of recent using the touch screen if you are in the middle of a show probably you are doing podcast or you are doing video cast whatever you are doing if you are in the middle of your show if you go on the screen and you want to make a quick adjustment i don't know if this is me using your finger to move those line if you are going negative or positive just to make a minor adjustment it's kind of hard to get it at the point you want it to be you know it should be something like one of these you know something like this should be one of them should be right here now at the center here 
and you can easily use either they can put it here or here probably this space they can use it that once they have it there once you press probably the whatever adjustment you want to make you press on it then you can use the knob to go either backward or forward like clockwise or anti-clockwise so if you are going clockwise that would be like you are adding more that would be your plus if you are go anti-clockwise that would be your negative so that way you have your precise settings it's not like you're going to be using your finger to you know go back or forward it's a little bit laggy when you are using your finger so i'll prefer that i have that knob after selecting my selection then i use the knob to make my tweak either forward or backward negative or positive you know that is another thing i think they should incorporate or include if they are coming with mark 2 or miscast 5 whatever they want to call it those are my that's my concern and uh last thing that i'm really concerned about that is kind of a little bit pissing me off right now is the file management if you are using the door that came with it you're good to go you have all your files you have like uh you have if you want it in stereo record it's right there and if you have multi-channel that you want your channel one two three all the way to this they are all separate you see them there if you are trying to use another software you won't be able to see it i think the only machine that get this right is still the zoom p8 and p4 when it comes to file management they make it really simple you take out the sd card plug it to your computer the stereo file is going to be there that is the mix and the individual channel is still going to be there so you can easily export whatever you need there to your door so i think they should change that and make it very easy for you know the users to have flexibility if i don't want to use their door i should be able to use mine and still be able to export individual channel that i want to export to export everything if you are connecting this to your computer via the usb c cable for some reason it takes longer time than i expected so i would rather like to take out the sd card put it on my computer and use my own door and still have the individual channel you know available to me for those who just want to go in quickly and go on at least uh a preset you know when you go on probably let's say i go on channel one and i want to choose mic settings if you can give us a preset i would like that so much for those who don't read because there's a lot of your customers that don't know how to work with the compression with the dsa they don't know there's a lot of things they don't know how to work with and they will be much better using the preset if you can give up presets on the um those microphones right that you know a lot of podcasters are using i know that the sm7b is like one microphone almost i'll say three or four three out of five podcasters are using the sm7b the electro voice re27 nd or the re20 I, uh, icon pro from artwork their microphone the icon pro and the etos and some common microphone like the uh ipr for the 40 or something the best preset possible for those microphone that if i have my show sm7b on channel one if i just press the channel go there and i can choose preset for sm7b or i can choose preset for electro voice if you can help us with that that will help a lot of the customers or users that they find it difficult to manage or get it right when it comes to setting out their microphone not every one of us are audio engineer so if you can make that happen i think that will go a long way with the customer getting it right i think that i'm happy i did not forget all right i like this mixer so much i can't complain a lot aside from those little things that i highlighted 
I give it to them. They made a very good mixer out of this thing. And that will be the end of the video. Tascam, please, if you're watching, I would like all this update to come around very soon. Don't be like Zoom. Help us get this update done. Alright guys, so I hope you enjoyed this video. If you have any comments, you can leave them below. If you are yet to subscribe, please do subscribe and support the channel. Let's move it forward. Alright guys, and until next time, bye bye guys.